When you're making crystal radios, you need to wire in components like over here and you need to clip things in. Uh, these fanny stock clips have been traditional for a very long time. The problem is they're becoming more expensive and harder to find. And in fact, the original crystal radios use something like this. Let me do a close up and we'll show you what we're talking about. When building crystal radios, this was the traditional method of making a contact point. It's just a couple washers and a screw. It is best to either use uh, stainless or brass in both the screw and the washers. And there's just a very small trick to making it and uh, I can show you and we'll go through the process of doing that. Um, you can use, just use two plain washers, but when you do, there's a little bit of a problem. Let's take a look at that. If you just use two flat washers like this, you can see they form an angle when you try to screw the screw down and tighten it. And what'll happen is it'll pinch it and it'll just pop that wire, just a piece of wire in there, it'll just pop that wire right out of there. Um, so the only trick to this is you want to bend that top washer just a little bit. Not too much because if it's, there's too much of a bend to it, it'll make a hollow spot and the wire will just pass right in and out. It won't tighten down but just a tiny little bit of bend to that top washer and it will help hold it in there and then when you tighten the uh, the screw down it won't uh, pop out. So let's do that. Let's uh, go and uh, bend this washer a little bit and you can see what I mean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our two washers and we're just going to bend it. Now you might be able to use pliers. These are too thick. I haven't had any luck with pliers. Uh, but I just got it clamped in the vise and it's a little bit uh, more than halfway above. So all I'm going to do is tap it with a hammer. There's no trick to this. It's kind of thick. I'm going to check it. Yeah, I got a little bit of a bend to it. If I've got too much of a bend to it, I can uh, just lay it on a flat surface and tap it out. Um, Let's see, yeah, you see that? Just the tiniest bend to it. We'll get the other washer and we can make a comparison to it. This will be the top washer. So, like this, get it in focus. And you see that? It's just the tiniest little uh, gap in there. So this side they fit tightly and yeah, this side not. But that's all you're looking for is something like that and that way when it clamps down it will uh, push the wire to the inside rather than trying to pop it out. And if you don't have a vise you can put it on something that's uneven like this surface. Um, just anything that's hard metal and tap it. Just give it a little bit of a bend that way. So um, that's another method of doing it. So again, just anything to put a little bit of a bend to it. This is a flat one. Um, but I prefer to do the vise. It just gives me a, a little bit more control. Uh, however, any way you can do it, uh, it works. Okay, well that was it for creating contact points for crystal radios out of uh, washers and screws. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY crystal radio projects.